It's the 2019 Powerade Jam Fest here at Wheeler High School in Marietta, Georgia. The crowd is ready to go. They've been waiting for some time to see some of the best high school basketball talent. Cole Anthony gets ready to go. He's got 45 seconds to put one down. One thing in dunk contests, the more missed attempts you have, the suspense goes down. And the crowd getting involved now, encouraging Cole Anthony, trying to see this dunk go through. That's a zero for Cole Anthony. Precious Achua may be the best athlete in this class. All right, he's going to show us why. Oh, he's moving the camera out of the way, of course. Doesn't want to damage any of that expensive equipment. And, and Paul, this is exactly where your, your pick may actually take over. Beautiful dunk by Precious. This is a great dunk from Precious. And you see taking off outside of the lane, similar to what Julius Irving did, of course, in the series way back in the day versus the Lakers, except for the doc didn't dunk it. He finger rolled it. Now, he says he's one of the best defensive players in the country. Let's see what he's got at the rim. He's going for the home run right away. Let's see it, Scotty. Wow. And I can recall seeing many people jump over other players and bringing in props to jump over. But I cannot remember seeing a windmill. We've got another future Florida Gator with Trey Mann. Well, Trey Mann doesn't look like a guy who could really dunk, but this kid is explosive. Yes, he is. He makes everything look easy. It doesn't even look difficult to put his face in the rim and throw that down. The only thing is he had to put his hand on his teammate to push that neck down a little bit. Scotty Lewis actually did the exact same thing with Jeremiah Robinson Earl on the back. I noticed that, so. Coming from outside Orlando, now Oscar Chibwe. I thought he was going to juggle it before he slammed it. This is a difficult attempt. Got them both, big time. Theo Ratliff over there telling me, no, he can't do it. <laughs> well, the bar has already been set high scoring-wise, but nobody's delved into fashion for this yet. It takes it to a different level, Mike, because I know this is how you used to do on your Nerf hoop, jumping off the bed. It does present a nice aerial aesthetic for photos. Khalil Whitney. Cape and all flying. That is a beautiful shot. Number one in the ESPN 100. Signed to play at Memphis next year. And let's see what he's got from the corner. One thing I know he has, Corey, he got a 7 6 wingspan to put it down. Oh, and it rolls through, but that no one on the ground. Yeah, but that the fact that it wasn't a clean dunk is going to take points away. But he actually went more difficult with the two hand dunk. And flying to the rim. They love it. That's got to be an 80. All the excitement, everyone up. And she throws it down. And I tell you right now, there's no squeak to that dunk. I want to go to the first one's the toughest. Because that's when you're coldest. See, now he's juiced up. He's excited. Crowds into it. He's going to punch it. Oh, good call, PB. Look at where he catches the basketball and brings it from to turn around the vision to be able to finish that off. That is special. And, and you're talking about six foot three. We're not talking six, 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 seven. Fast and strong. I know Cole Anthony's a great athlete, but watch this kid. It's fluid. Oh. Length, strength, whoa, power. And show the left hand to let everybody know. Is his identity in the game and just makes that look easy. Now I know he's six nine. But look at the coordination, the mobility. Then at the end, just the power to punch it. Scotty Lewis getting the crowd into it. The boys and the girls. Oh, yeah! Wow! Should have brought a 20. Scotty Lewis over a two. 
the windmill. And moving his head out of the way baby so that he doesn't hit it on the rim. Little baby Neek. I think he wants to get his elbow caught in the rim. In the rim? The big O is powerful. They couldn't go Vince on us. Well, yeah. <laughs> Khalil Whitney cocks it back off a high bounce. Watch the headband. The white headband is right at the rim. Rim level. You know get an been, opportunity to see him look the basketball through. You know it would have been cool if he put the headband over his eyes. <laughs> and then he made the dunk. And then he would have hit his head on the rim. <laughs> you see him looking right into the rim. He runs really well for a big man. He's got some really long strides. But that's a lot of accelerations to he, take off from the free throw line. He's going to take three strides and get to the line. Oh! Oh, my goodness! But you look, it's only one, two, three, four steps. Boom, take it off. I tell you what, that was simple and clean, but that was impressive. I don't think people recognize how difficult it is to do that without the ability to gather speed. Number one player in the senior class, right on the free throw line. About 14 feet away. She's actually now crossing it over to let everyone know she's jumping off her right foot, dunking it left-handed. What's so impressive, excuse me, Corey, the ability to hold the ball with one hand, palm it, and dunk it. You see a lot of girls can touch the rim. They got height, they got bounce, but not many that I've ever seen can palm it and flush it. And with the perfect 160, Fran Belibi knocked James Wiseman, the number one player in the ESPN 100, out of the finals. It'll be Belibi, Scotty Lewis, and Precious Achua for a dunk contest championship. Whoa, that's impressive as well. That was one of those great attempts. Around and in on try number two. He is being penalized for being 6'9", because what he just did is spectacular. But because he's 6'9", it doesn't look as difficult. Clear for takeoff. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Oh. You take off. From right inside the free throw line and do a windmill. Had a little Zion to him with the cock down and Absolutely. around. Absolutely. Spectacular. No need for nines in that. No, that's a 10 straight across. <laughs> Haley delivered it perfectly, friends. Got to finish it all. They want it off the backboard. Haley's ability to throw the lob. Haley with the beautiful pass. And Fred finishing it off. Two hands. Corey, she's got a 31-inch vertical. He's got to be creative. At that size, with great athleticism, it's expected. Oh! Between the legs after the bounce off the backboard. Yes, sir. It's got to be an eight. Hey, that it's, was not expected. It's got to be an eight. It's got to be an eight. It's perfect. No, that's got to be 90. Oh my goodness. How about the dexterity to catch it? You cannot it penalize him for being 6'9 on that one. <laughs> Time is short. Oh, oh yeah. We're gonna on have the side of the glass, 360, two hands. This is the same dunk that Wiseman tried to do from the other side earlier. Didn't make it cleanly. Scotty Lewis, six inches shorter, able to pull it off clean, all 10. Oh, the cape looks so sweet, though.
with the crowd around her and the cape to finish it off jumping over. And at the end quarter, she had the little kick out with the legs. Not since 2004 with Candace Parker has there been a female winner. So I'm excited to crown you this year's champion.